Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, how do we know that science and logic are separate methods of proof? This idea that science and logic are not the same is a very old one with a long history, and there's definite reasons to believe this, most of them centering around just what science is all about and how the rules of science work. Science involves using experiments and measurements to test theories. If the results of your experiment are what the theory predicted, then your theory is supported by evidence. It's also possible to find proof of a theory using science, but not nearly as easy as finding evidence. Now here's a question. What happens if your findings in an experiment don't turn up the results you were expecting, or turn up results that are just slightly off? Is the experiment a failure? Well, the experiment didn't do what you were hoping it would, however, you may still be able to learn something from the results you got, even if it's not what you were hoping to learn. Many great scientific discoveries have happened largely by accident. So, what are the scientific rules for how to interpret the data? Well, there are definitely rules for how to interpret data, but they're not really the rules of science per se. Science covers the process of theorizing, testing, and producing results. But what the results mean, apart from the measurable aspect, isn't really a scientific question. Many well-known scientists have accepted this limitation to the scientific method, withholding judgment even after all the findings are in, especially when the evidence seems to point to some amazing conclusion. It's not that they're not able to draw conclusions on the basis of their evidence, but it doesn't fall within their capacity as scientists to do so. And so as a scientist, they simply don't offer explanations of what the data means. Drawing conclusions on the basis of data, however, is something for which there are definite methods. In the philosophy of science, the philosophy of science is a branch of philosophy which is concerned with the foundations, methods, and implications of science and scientific findings. The questions of what constitutes a science, the ultimate purpose of science, the reliability of various scientific theories, and so on, all belong to this branch of philosophy, and none of them are answerable using measurement alone. Ultimately, while it is possible to group science in with logic in the broad category of methods of finding knowledge, there are definitely enough differences between the two that calling them separate methods of proof is quite justified. Next, do any types of skepticism logically work? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.